And hello there, folks. RGB from RJB TV, and it's about damn time that we continue on with game number five, the final match between 458 against Rabbit, who's playing on the name Choi Yun Bo Zan. The first four games so far, they've all been pretty fancy. They've been playing pretty fancy. Like, it's pretty good stuff so far that these two players have been showing us here in this best of set. Which means that, of course, this game number 5 is going to be pretty damn good as well. In this best of set, I've largely been surprised and impressed by how smart Rabbit plays. The optimization, the small little details, the building placements, the build orders, and the insight on what he can and cannot do has been... I wouldn't say eye-opening, because I've seen him do it before, but it does always instill this sense of being impressed. I'm in awe of all the things that I didn't know were possible for a Zerg or a Terran to do in terms of not ma micro or macro, but just in terms of building placement and being smart with how you play the game. And so far, in this best of set, it's managed to get him not one, but two wins over 458's legendary Protoss in Terran against Protoss. And 458 has a really good Protoss against Terran. Arguably one of the best Protoss players in all of fastest map 1 versus 1 history. So taking a win away from 458, that's always impressive. Always very impressive. Also, I forgot to switch over, so let me just switch over because, oh god. Imagine if I had kept on recording for the entire video and at the end, I figure out that, oh boy, what is this? I forgot to switch. And then the replay is, well, unwatchable because you would be looking at this very tiny little screen where you cannot actually see anything that's happening. So just to reintroduce, Rabbit here on the Red Terran, 458 on the Blue Protoss, the middle bottom of the map, going for a double gateway nexus because he's on the middle spawn, and Rabbit is here on the middle spawn as well, going for a barracks, supply depot, barracks, supply depot. Not gonna go for a third barracks, he's gonna stay on only two, which might prove the future to be a little bit difficult to defend. Because two barracks against two gateways, two gateways wins that exchange. So the question then becomes how much damage can 4-5A do against a rabbit? Maureen arrives on the scene, is to be a little bit of probe damage. Maureen is still walking around in circles, probe there finds the choke. He's gonna have to close that choke pretty damn fast if he wants to stop any of those zealots from getting in and doing any damage to SCDs, kind of like that one that we just went down. He kind of wants to prevent that from happening. So the Marine there finds its way in a circle all the way around the Nexuses and starts hitting those probes. The probes there are gonna try to kill the Marine, but the Marine stays alive with just a little bit of health. So let's have a quick look at the base there from Rabbit. He goes for a command center after double barracks. Bunker in the front. No wall. He didn't finish the wall. He doesn't feel he needs the wall just yet. But we have a supply depot on the way there on the bottom. No gas. No third barracks. Both players are kind of just sitting this one out. They're just gonna sit back, kick back, build up, relax, grow bigger, grow richer. And the fighting will happen probably after six minutes. Well, 4 of 8 has other plans, he wants to try and go right here, right now. But I don't think he will be able to achieve too much, because we have a bunker filled with marines, and marines behind the bunker as well. He somewhat finished the wall, Zealous can walk through these small little narrow gaps there, below and on top of the bunker, but I don't think he's gonna try, there's no point losing the Zealots trying to break through something that you simply cannot break through, there's no point in trying. So both players return to their respective homes and they're gonna start cooking a plan to deal with whatever is coming next. 4 of 8 is cooking a plan to attack and break through the choke or hit the economy in the back. As Rabbit is at the moment cooking up a big economy with a triple nexus going for a fat engineering base, still no factory. There's the factory, he's now on the way. A little bit late there though. Marines are extended too far, overextended too far. Zelda's trying to get through, and they do get through right on top of the Marines. And the Marines now, oh, they are in some trouble. Marines are leaving the bunker. Zelda's are going straight for the backside there, straight for the SCVs. 
Let's see what the HP is on those Zealots. They are still pretty healthy. They lost most of the shields. One of them is untouched. And now we have a pretty bad fight there for Rabbit. Losing some SCVs, but not losing any Marines. But he's got triple command center, so losing one or two SCVs is not too bad. But given that this situation could have been prevented completely, it is worse than if it had been prevented. It's worse than if it didn't happen. So he loses a couple Marines, loses a couple SCVs, but nothing that will really slow him down much in the grand scheme of things. Double Robo in the front there for 4-5-H, chill along the way, factory almost finished up, factory is in fact finished up. Machine Japan on the way, and so is the starport. Rabbit is going to play this on a very tiny little defensive army. He doesn't have a lot of Marines, maybe 12 or so. Two medics on the way, and so is the Stim in the attack. Getting two more barracks though. So Rabbit wants to very quickly be able of improving and increasing the amount of Marines and improving the defenses he has against the incoming shuttle drops from 458, who already has a Reaver on the way, and we'll have Reaver number two on the way as well. Getting Dragoons into the mix. That's an interesting choice. Very early and quick Dragoons. Didn't get Zealot speed, didn't get Dragoon range either. But he's still got the Dragoons nonetheless. Not sure what he's going to do with them, but he's got some plans in his mind on how he's going to use them. I just don't know how. Not yet, at least. So start by there, getting a control tower. He's going to go for tank drops. Starts scanning. He starts scanning Fort of Eight's base. Scans the front, sees the double robo, and the shuttle sees the back. There's cannons on the way. So tank drops, probably not really an option anymore. Because, well, there's cannons to protect the probes. It's very difficult to hit those probes when there's cannons on the right, the left, and the top side. Also getting two cannons up here. He really does not want to lose like how he lost in game number four, where he got tank dropped pretty badly and fell behind. Or maybe that was game number three. Bottom line, in one of the Terran against Protoss games, four of eight lost a lot of probes to a tank drop and that killed his chances of winning the game. He just never properly recovered from it. So Rabbit here, double scan. Didn't make a dropship because he scanned too many cannons around the Nexus, so he's not gonna try. Drop there, comes over the bottom side, unloads the Reavers, pretty close to the SCVs, takes a shot at those SCVs, hits about seven of them, kills a bunch of Marines as well. Can he get one more shot off on those Marines? Yes, he gets two of them, and the Reaver then goes down. He almost got more. He loaded a little bit too early, thinking the shuttle would go down, but then the shuttle stayed alive with like, I'd say 10 HP. So just one hit from a turret remaining, and the shuttle would have died, but it didn't. So he unloaded a little bit too early. Couldn't get all of the SCVs, but he still got some of them, which is what's so great about this. Another drop there comes in, but he gets taken down there by Marines and a turret, so couldn't quite make its way in there and survive. More gateways at home there, back at uh, four of eight's base. He's on seven gateways, getting a bunch more as well. Getting stargates as well. Already getting stargates. He might go for pretty early carriers. Tempus Argafa on the way, still on double robo, getting more pylons for a skeleton of his base. Rabbit there still only on one starport, one factory, four barracks, engineering base, science facility on the way. He's got one armory on the top. So it's gonna be an attack upgrade for tanks very soon. He's relying on a marine defense. But most of the times we see a five barracks marine defense on these middle spawns, but Rabbit is playing it on four barracks. He doesn't really have much to defend. He really is defending with the least amount possible. Engineering base there being built to be put up onto the high ground. Tanks on the high ground in the front. So front wheel attacks are going to be much more difficult for 458 from this point onwards. Getting Corsairs to escort the shuttles in. Still only on double robo. I was expecting at least a triple or a quad robo from 458 already. But he's staying on the double robo, which means the drops are going to be a little bit smaller and a little bit slower with flying in. But he's using at the same time that he's giving Rabbit to kind of just build up his entire base. He's getting gateways everywhere. He's got 67 probes. He's got the cannons all over the place to protect his probes so his economy is safe and sound. 
He might proxy a Nexus for more gas at some point. Getting air... He's getting Dragoon range. Getting all the ground upgrades, so attack, weapon, and shields. Which kind of leads me to believe he's not going to switch into carriers soon. It will probably be a post 20 minute carrier play, or maybe not at all. So drop goes in over the bottom side, gets taken down pretty easily. The tank spread is pretty good. Tanks are pretty well spread out, covering quite some surface area over the southern side of Rabbit's base. Nothing on the northern side there though, still only one armory. And we got one more robo on the way there for 458. Everything routed there to the frontal point, so it's easy to do. Pick up units into the shuttles and send the shuttles out to attack. But this is quite an uncharacteristic game from 458. Usually I see him just throw out drops from 6 minutes to 10 minutes non-stop. But we've only seen 3 drops so far. Only 3 drops. Instead of focusing on uh, shitting out drops non-stop, he's been focusing on building a bigger base really quick and hopefully try to beat Rabbit to the punch. Starts loading those shuttles. Temple on the scene. As these are splitting up in three directions. And he doesn't really kill many of them. He largely kills just those as these are on the gas, but all the others stay alive, so economy, the mineral income, is still safe and sound. Losing the SVs on the gas though is a minor inconvenience because now Rabbit has to put new SVs on the gas. Kind of annoying. And it happens right at the point where Rabbit is transitioning into largely a starport and factory base. He's moving away from Marines. Even though he does have double engineering bay for double upgrades on the Marines, he's building so many starports, so many factories, that I do believe he's going to switch away from them. He's getting armor for his air, mostly for the shuttles. The shuttles with armor and shields are harder to just take down than if they don't have shuttle uh, armor and shields. So getting the armor for air, pretty important. Putting Dragoons on the high ground to take down the turrets. And then he's going to come in with... Ooh, he's putting a tank on the high ground. So the Dragoons are there to kill the tank. This Dragoon is just out of range of hitting that one. Dragoons are missing most of the shots, so the tanks probably won't go down. You just miss too many shots. Look at him. He missed like five shots. High ground advantage is huge. It's huge. So 4 of 8 now has a nice circle of production around his choke point, sending out one drop to the north and the other drop there going over the southern side of Rabbit's base. With some six factories, five starports, four barracks, and building a lot of command centers in the front to build a big ass wall that 4 of 8 is not going to break through. So, first, northern drop over the top side comes in, finds a really good angle. Marines are in between, stimming in, but the starports are blocking them. But they do snipe some shuttles out of the air. The Templar is blocked up inside the starports, so can't storm on the SCVs. So just gonna storm whatever he can. Almost hits the SCVs with a zealot, pulling splash damage. Another drop there comes in of the exact same angle, goes in all the way, but no Templars inside. It's just zealots killing everything they can, and they're doing a pretty good job at killing anything they can. Kill some Marines, get some damage to the bunker, kill the bunker, kill some tanks. But no SCVs went down on either of those two drops. It was just Marines dying. Which is not bad, but definitely not great. Definitely not great. Beautiful base here, though. Beautiful base. I like how he's been filling out his base. And he got, he got quite some star, uh, star gates into his base. Gateways, actually. One run upgrade finished up, got 222 on the way. Gonna put some more units on top of those zealots, on top of the tanks on the high ground. But Rabbit already putting new ones right on there. Immediately putting new ones right onto the high ground. So Rabbit currently at the moment has four armories. His upgrades for tanks are 1 0 and 1 2 for the Marines. It's really good Marine upgrades. We don't often see people. Uh, get a lot of marine upgrades. Either they get no upgrades or they get the just level 1 attack. And then they stop with the marine upgrades. And I really do like that he's getting more marine upgrades because he's relying on them to defend against the shuttles. Drop goes in over the bottom side. Templar arrives on the scene. Triple Templar trying to storm on the SCVs. But the SCVs already ran away so he storms on an empty mineral patch. 
and doesn't quite get any kills whatsoever. Although there's still Tempas alive, he might try to storm on the returning SCVs, but nope, he cannot get the storm off. The economy yet again safe, but another drop there. I said they're safe, but no, they're not. Drop number 11 comes in, or number 12, whatever it is. Close! Oh no, energy for the storm. No energy for the storm, he went in a little bit too early. Same one, no energy on the... Oh my god, no energy on the Templar. But he doesn't... He didn't notice. He had energy, but he didn't notice. He had energy, but he didn't notice the Templar was still alive on the top side. That is a huge oversight from 4 or 5 feet that could have won him the game. Rabbit is low on minerals, and if he had lost all those SCVs on the minerals right there and then, that would have maybe, I don't want to say it would have guaranteed, but it would have increased his chances of winning the game. It would have increased his chances, but he just missed the one Templar being right here, right next to the SCVs, ready to storm. So another west side drop there, double nukes coming in there as well. So he comes in, Temples on the scene, Shills get killed, Temples get killed as well, killed nothing at all. But another drop there already coming in, it drops non-stop this time from the bottom side, Rabbit stepping in to try and intercept SCVs, running the safety to the west, storming yet again, but yet again, yet again, the SCVs do make their way out to the front. They all do stay alive, but Rabbit has been dodging storms non-stop. He doesn't have any money in the bank. He's just been running and not been mining. And some stray SVs are running away from home. Forgot to pull them back. Zealots on the high ground to kill the tanks. Zealots in the front trying to break the frontal wall. Bunkers behind it, tanks behind it, unseached. Defending successfully because he's got fire bats in the bunkers and fire bats in bunkers with level 2 attack upgrade. They absolutely burn those zealots up really easily, really quickly, and quite crispy. KFZ, Kentucky Fried Zealot. Delicious, the best in the universe and the galaxy. So, yeah, again, he's pulling gateways on the metal. He feels he needs a little bit more real estate to overrun and overpower the rabbit, which hasn't worked in the past two games, but this time around he might just do it. Although rabbit there with a great move, unloading the bunkers and loading them right back up after he stims those marines of fire bats to increase the damage. It's a great move that really makes a big difference in defending. Drop over the bottom side at the same time as the follow-up attack, marines are coming in to stim and take down the shuttles. Templars unload, Templars can't storm, they go down too quick, one Templar on the top side stays alive, but storms only the marines and some SCVs that are mining gas. So the SCVs on the minerals once again do stay alive, but his minerals are still quite low. When you're running away all the time, mining doesn't happen that much that often. But he might try to nuke yet again, he's got double nuke silo, he's got the ghost covert ops add-on. Does not have ghosts yet though. He might get them soon. These SVs are still long distance mining. They will die at some point. Not that Rabbit not, not that Rabbit cares too much though. He's got 78 SCVs and a Terran at this point with a full base. Can operate on I'd say about 65. So losing a couple of those SCVs won't hurt him too much. He does need a little bit more space from our factories though, but big drop there moving from Rabbit's base, and they intersect drop again, drop against drop. Or if it turns around, I'm gonna try to kill the drop, and the rabbit also turns around. Small frontal attack kills a couple of bunkers and supply depots that rabbit has been rebuilding time and time again. <coughs> <coughs> Some slime in my throat. Well, that same drop from earlier, now in the middle, going over the front. We have upgrades on the gateway units: two, 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 almost three, three, three. The tanks are on. 2-2, two, two. Marines are on 2-3, so both players on about equal upgrades. The tanks that were going for the drop are here instead on the high ground to protect the choke. And he decides against going for the drop on the minerals. He decides against it. We're getting Ghost, Ocular, Implants, Upgrade, and Fessel Energy. So I smell a nuke on the Nexus. Can he nuke the Nexus though? I don't think so. There's quite some real estate, quite some cannons in between. Gonna be a difficult one. Or they trying it again over the bottom side. Rabbit scans the map at the same time, but let's focus on the drop first. 
goes in, Marines on the scene, starts to unload the big drop, there's a lot inside, Temple's on the scene, Temple's storming on the Marines, but not any SCVs. Not any SCVs, more Temple's unloading at the same time, storming on all the Marines that he can, SCVs returning back home, but he still have another storm inside those Templars. And yet again, the drop does not kill any SCVs. SCVs yet again do stay alive, a little bit of a bad situation for Rabbit now, uh, for 4 of 8 now. This is a great situation for Rabbit. Great situation for Rabbit. Because he is, I'd say... Well, the problem with Rabbit's base here is I wanted to say he's fully operational. He's big, he's got a lot of production. That's seven barracks. Six factories. He can easily get overrun by 458. Although a nuclear coming in on the front. No observers on the map for 458. So this one is going to be un indefensible. He's going to lose the choke, which is really going to take a lot of power out of his hands. Drop there. Oh, he's going to lose the drop as well. He kills the drop. Man. The drop stays alive. Dodge the damage from the drop. Oh, no, he did not dodge the damage from the drop. Shuttles are on low HP, and so are the Corsairs. The shuttle drop might go down before it even lands inside of Rabbit's base. The drop barely survived. Now, if this drop is going to hurt Rabbit where it counts, it's going to be quite funny to watch. Another ghost there arriving in the front, ready to nuke again. Starts the nuke. Drop comes in. Drop survive. Is this drop going to be the one? Zealots on the scene. Or do we have any Templars? We have Templars. Drop comes out on the front very soon. Drop goes... I gotta look at two locations at the same time. Nukes the front. Kills the Robos. Kills the cannons. Kills the pylon. Command center under attack at the same time as well. He's, re he's storming the repair. And the command center will not go down. It stays alive. It had like 40 HP. It barely stays alive, but he manages to keep the repair going just in time, just long enough to prevent 4 of 8 from taking down that precious command center. Also, didn't lose that many SCVs. Lost 12 of them. Rabbit is in a very good shape. But he's still confined to his base. Still confined to his base, where a big fumble attack is happening. Takes on the high ground are kind of messing up the drop though. Forfeit is just running right in all the way to the top back corner. And he's gonna kill whatever he can on the top corner. And Rabbit does not have much to defend ready at the top corner. He's moving units from the front to the back, but there's not much space to move through. That's proven to be a little bit difficult. The Valkyries inside of Fort Base Choke, killing the shells for spawning. More nukes are on the way. Supply Depot is getting killed. Lost three. Might lose four. Might even lose five. Turrets going down as well. Now another fumble attack happening, but the the tanks to high ground are just really tripping him up. Just really tripping him up, making the attacks so damn difficult to pull off. Another nuke on the choke. Still no observer to detect that. Still no observer. Still no observer. So the top corner now getting repaired by Rabbit. Nuke there coming down on the front. Forward move these units out of harm's way into the middle to prevent them from going down. The nuke eventually dies, but only after he hits the nuke. And the nukes have killed the robos, so they've done quite an effective job. Forward needs new robos. He only has one at the moment on the map. Only has one at the moment. A lot of games on the middle. I feel Rabbit is going to move out any time now. <clears throat> any time now, he's going to move out and start the attack. Or he's going to fly around with these dropships. What is Rabbit going to do? Going to go for another nuke on the choke yet again. Observer is on the scene. Observer is scouting and hunting. And he finds the Observer really quickly. So no nuke going to be coming down. Just drops it on the left side in the air. What is 4 of 8 going to do? He needs some shuttles to put units onto those tanks on the high ground. They're preventing him from moving in, or maybe storms on those tanks to just take them out. The storms are coming down. There's three groups of tanks on the high ground. Clears out the bottom side. Now it's time for the northern side, but that one stays alive. Tanks are seizing up in the choke. A lot of ghosts in between as well. Rabbit's defenses so far are looking rock solid. They're looking rock solid. Takes down the Observer. Has more nukes on the way. 
Board of 8 is pulling back, grouping up, bombing up. 83 probes, max out upgrades. At this point, I would say 4 of 8 throw away 24 probes, get a bigger army, and try to out-muscle Rabbit with pure gateway units. He's rebuilding those robos though, he wants to keep on using shuttle drops. But so far, nothing has quite yielded the results that he wanted. He hasn't been able to really kill significant amounts of SCVs at any point in this game. So nukes around the middle, taking down that real estate, those proxy gateways all getting taken down. He's got a proxy stargate base, but cannot switch over into carriers anymore, because Rabbit is already pushing into the middle. Shuttles are on the way, Corsairs on the way as well. There's a lot of Corsairs there though. That's a lot of Corsairs, probably more than he needs. And probably also has a couple too many probes. His, his bank just keeps on growing. His bank just keeps on growing. So Rabbit pushes forward without tank on the hill support. Getting right on top of those tanks, gonna take them all down, storming on the bottom group. Gets a good surround, kills most of the tanks. There's, there's now eight factors, like... Rabbit's production ability is not very high. Eight factories has not a lot of production, but he's managing to keep most of his tanks alive at all times. Probes are getting thrown away now. Four of eight knows he needs a bigger army. The gateways on the middle are being powered by one single pylon. He only has the gateways left here in his main base. This game, at this point, can still go either way. Rabbit looks really strong with his army of three three tanks. Maxed out upgrades, pushing into the middle and taking away 4 of 8's control over the middle. And a lot of ghosts walking right into the mix, ready to nuke, ready to lock down, ready to hit whatever they can with their fancy spells. Got a vessel in the air as well to detect the observers. And there the ghost goes to the front, starts to nuke. Can't see it. 4 of 8 is in trouble. Big drop over the bottom side, the raids are sniping these shuttles, shuttles do arrive on the scene there though, SV's not running away, starts to load, SV's run to safety, Temples on the scene, triple four Templars, starts to whatever he can, but it looks like this won't be enough, that's more of an Archon, nuke on the front took down most of the real estate, but still has the robots on the side, still alive and protected, building some Reavers as well, Templar is still in the back. Is it an energy for a storm? Nope, it does not. Oh, he killed the SCV somewhere. I didn't see where he killed the SCVs. He killed the SCV somewhere, but I can't. Oh my god, he killed the SCVs. He got all of them. The 34 SCVs alive for Rabbit. He's building a huge arm. He's gambling on an all in attack. SCVs are on the top corner, returning back home. He still has some SCVs to put back to work on the minerals. He's not building new SCVs there though. He's going all in on a really big army of ghosts and nukes. Carriers on the way there from 458. Carriers don't do too well against ghosts. And I don't know if those carriers have upgrades. I don't know if they have upgrades. I don't know. Rabbit they're pushing into the base, pushing and setting up in the choke. 4 of 8 doesn't have a lot to defend, he's pushing forward, Reaver's doing some great work there on the tanks, but the lockdowns on the tanks are shutting that down completely. Got locked down, the carriers are going to be his last line of defense, but he still has to build those interceptors. He didn't even, okay, he finished in carrier capacity right now. Just now, he finished carrier capacity. All the carriers are returning back home, back to the Nexus, where they're gonna wait and build their interceptors. Templars and Zells are trying to buy as much time as he can, because Rabbit is gambling it all on Big Army. 35 SCVs alive. 35. I don't know how they died. I'll have to rewind after the game ends. But oh boy, this is... This can go either way. This can go either way, but the carriers with lockdown, they scare me a lot. Like the carriers do not do well against lockdown, and there's a lot of ghosts to lock down the carriers. Forve is nicely dancing on the side, and the upgrades on the carriers, I believe they are not that good. 1-3-2, two, 
he's actually not that good. And lockdowns and all the carriers on the side there, there's just nowhere to run. There's nothing he can do. Lockdown on all the carriers. Rabbit defended this game like a boss. And now we've got lockdowns all over the place. He calls GG. And Rabbit wins the best of set. 4 5 eight moves turned out to be ineffective at every point of this game. They never ever worked. Not even once. He couldn't make any of his attempts at hurting the rabbit work once. Except at the last moment where he managed to land a hit just one time. Let's very quickly rewind a little bit. I think it happened about 26, 27 minutes. He lost a lot of SCVs. He lost a lot of SCVs to that one drop. And I kind of want to know what exactly happened. It's right here. Right here. Runs away with those SCVs. Starts storming all over the place. And the SCVs, where do they go? How do they die? They return back home to the minerals. He just storms them, I guess? How do they die? He got... Ah, so he did get a storm off. So I, I was looking at it and I just missed it. So he just get all those SCVs that were here on the minerals and repairing. Because he did have a storm. He did have a storm. I was looking right at it and I just missed it. I'm just, I'm just that blind. I am just that blind. So yeah, thank you for watching. It was RGB for RGB TV. Rabbit manages to win this best of five. Loses the first two games and then won three games in a row with Terran against Protoss against 4-5-8. Beautifully done. He earned it. He deserved it. He played like a boss.